One of the things I believe in is that the government shouldn't get involved in things that are nationalized programs. They, they do get involved based on the general welfare clause in the Constitution. And what the Constitution is a phrase in there that says, right after provide for the national defense, it says that promote the general welfare. Just promote, not provide. That clause, that phrase in the Constitution has been interpreted as the basis for every type of social program, every type of spending program on a national level that there is. But it's a total mischaracterization of what was actually meant by the Founding Fathers. You can read the Federalist Papers. Federalist Papers define the Constitution. It's the Founders actually defining the Constitution. Federalists 41, 42, and 43 are titled The Powers Conferred by the Constitution. And if you go and read in there what the General Welfare Clause meant, General Welfare was a phrase that actually referred to a general state of well-being that was to be maintained and promoted between the states. And it was saying that that's what the Constitution was written and should be adopted for, was so that there was this state of well-being to be maintained between the states. In other words, one state couldn't make a law that in turn <clears throat> somehow hindered another state, and we're talking taxes and tariffs, things like this, that's what general welfare meant. And there's a reason why they never envisioned or never would have allowed and didn't allow in the Constitution any kind of nationalized system. If one state wanted to implement a, a healthcare system that was going to eventually tax its people and cause the state to collapse, it would be contained within that state or in just any small part of the state that decided to do it. And the people would always have the final option of moving and going somewhere else. And so it would just die out there because it was unsustainable, as all socialists and socialism is. So what we have now and what the government's become as it's grown out of its mandated bounds is that there is no escape from these nationalized systems. So we're all stuck with them until it collapses. And, and when it collapses now, it collapses with all of us. Does everybody here know what just happened with global warming? Yeah. It's been exposed as a hoax. Yes. But again, what it shows by them continuing on in Copenhagen and continuing on with the policies, what it is is that they knew it was always knew it was a hoax, just like we always knew it was a hoax. And it doesn't matter that evidence has finally come out that it is a hoax. They're going to continue on because it's not about the environment. It never was about the environment. What it's about is wealth transfer. What it's about is taxing producers, transferring the money to non-producers. Yeah.